IVUS of OCT, the answer will be very simple if you could make uh, the two technology uh, simultaneously and one have one pullback. That's what we have done the whole decade. We had uh, initially Palpo and uh, Grayscale, then you had Grayscale and, and VH, then you have all three. Uh, today, if you could have uh, uh, grayscale and OCT, you will be happy. The problem now is that these two instruments have, uh, I would say, non-compatible uh, pullback speed. One is, is very slow, 0.5 millimeter of 1 millimeter per second. The other is very fast, 10, 20, 30, 40 millimeter per second. So that's no longer possible. Some of the people are uh, looking at uh, basically uh, increasing the frequency, but they will be in a position between the two, and, and we still have to see what is the clinical value of that. So again, if I want to see the plug burden in its depth, I will go to the IVERS. If I want to do the endoluminal lining, I will go to uh, OCT. Of course, I can see um, calcium, I can see a uh, necrotic core, I can see uh, uh, cap thickness. When I was talking about cap thickness, that was implicitly uh, thinking that behind you have the necrotic core, of course. And, and, and the calcium is sometimes well recognized. I mean, when you have a, a clear leading edge and a, and a clear back uh, side of, of the calcium, you can say it is calcium. Sometimes it's not easy. I think the first who, who was doubting a little bit about that thing is Renu Vermani in a paper in the American Journal of Cardiology. And I think she's right. It's not always simple.